What up? It's your boy Ricky Tan with my girl Jessica on that real TV. Keeping it real. Yes. Keeping Holla at your boy. Real. Keep it 100, man. Rip, rip, rip. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, shit, we in this motherfucker once again, man. You already know motherfuckers is blasted right now, blasted. bro. When we when I come to do an interview, when me and that nigga TB3 come to do an interview, we gots to get it in, like. What's your name? Sh- nigga, Ricky Tan. Holla Ricky at your Tan. boy, nigga. What's up, Ricky Tan? Nigga, Ricky Lever Ricky Stick. Tan, so who are you? Who am I? Who are you? Like, who? Shit. If I say Ricky Tan, mm-hmm. if I'm asking somebody, like, do you know this dude named Ricky Tan? Uh-huh. What are they going to say? They're going to be like, they, uh, Oh, that's that nigga that be on TB3 production shit. Yeah. Oh, that's that nigga that probably done tatted me. Oh, yeah, I know that nigga that light skinned nigga. Bryce. Yeah, they know me. Motherfuckers out here know me, man. Where you from? I'm from the 309 area, Peoria, Illinois. That's for everybody that don't know where we from. Peoria, Illinois. Holla at your mother. I ain't from boy. there, but I'm here. Yeah, we're we in up Peoria, in this bitch, Illinois, man. right now. You know, we had to get it exclusive. This is an exclusive day. Like, oh, shit, we've been blowing the loud pack all, like, all this little time, man. Shit, getting twisted, wasted up, you already know. So, where you, what do you do? Like, where you from, and as far as, and not where you're from city-wise, but where are you from, where are you trying to come from as an artist well, yourself, or well, I'm trying to, your individual self? Like, I'm trying to put my music out, like... Being more of a cool, I'm more of a cool type of cat, so them the kind, them the type of raps I spit. Like, I spit that feel-good music, like, you hear my shit and be like, shit, that shit make me feel good, you know? And, um, Move That Way, that's what's playing right move, now. Move That Way is what's playing right now, and... Where, where'd that come from? That, that derived from me, that boy TB3, my motherfucking brother. Shit, we in the studio one day, we just kicking it as usual. Shit, came up, <laughs> KO dropped the beat. Sorry. KO dropped the beat and it was over with. It was over with after that. So shit, I mean, to me it looks like everything's going along pretty perfect. A- everything going to, going along pretty smooth and groovy right now. I can't say what I can't say what tomorrow gonna bring, but shit, we here today. So like, do you like go out and promote yourself? Like, where do you be at? I mean, the last. Hold on. The last thing that we uh, went out when we was trying to promote was to this little Rick Ross thing that Rick Ross was supposed to be there and shit like that or whatever. And we went there and it was awesome bullshit. So, shit, we got our money back. Shit, we said, fuck that shit. We got our little bill back and we said, fuck the shit. A lot of y'all motherfuckers didn't get y'all money back from that shit. We got our money back that second, goddammit. Right. So, um, so as far as in, like, do you know when your next album's coming out, when you're going to perform it yes. next? Yes. I'm, ha- I'm happy you asked me that. Ricky Tan, the Tan and Package is coming out pretty soon. I'm going to say, I'm going to give it like a month to, boy, I'm going to throw like six tracks on the Facebook, six tracks on the uh, Reverb Nation, and just let motherfuckers hear me real quick and, and be at a bob, so once I do drop this mixtape, you'll have that plus shit that you ain't heard yet, you dig? See, see if they feel you. So, um, like... So are you are you trying to? Uh, I know that you said you're gonna come out with your album. Yes. Sir. Are you trying to do any shows anywhere in the Peoria area? Shit, man, any place that uh, that let a nigga come through and perform and do their thing. I mean, as you can hear, you can hear the music, man. This shit, shit that gonna have a club bopping. We we got shit. We got right. tracks, like tracks after tracks after tracks. Me and this nigga right here, TB3, we could probably do a whole fucking show for a motherfucking club if they really wanted it. But shit. as far as that, so like, if people wanted to see your videos and see where you you are coming from as far as in your rap style. I know they hear this in the background, but where can they find more of you at? They can find me, man, you can find me in these streets, or you can just, I'm like, it's a lot of motherfuckers that hit me up for tats, so that's really how I get my name out. Like, I give, I give motherfuckers a mixtape once I'm doing my tat or whatever and shit like that. It's all about marketing yourself. You market yourself well and have a, a brand, because it's all about... It's not just about rapping these days with niggas. You got to have, like, a certain swag and, like, a certain brand that you bring in or motherfuckers ain't going to feel you. You know, that's why I'm calling my shit the Tan Fans. T-A-N-N-F-A-N-S, Tan Fans. Ricky Tan, boy. I like that. Yeah, I know. It's it's catchy. I like that. I like that that a lot. So, um, do you feel that you're going to, um... I got... Well, feel like that you're gonna, you know, what I'm saying, make it super duper big. Like, what's your dream? Like, how do you dream? I mean, like, I, I go by a model. Go? I go by a model of like, what do you want? like I say, I say this a lot too. It's either tan or stay pale. You dig? So, like, I'm out here in the sun. I'm trying to be bright. I'm trying to shine. You dig? That's why I call myself Ricky Tan because I shine. And shit, if you ain't fucking with me, fuck off. That's what I tell I tell a lot of niggas that. If you ain't fucking with me, fuck up. If you ain't feeling me or feeling my movement, don't hate on me. Just don't say nothing to me. And just keep it moving. We can keep everything greasy.
Shit, I'm a Thundercat. <laughs> uh, that's keeping it real. That's keeping it real. Do you, do you feel like you need to, um, do you feel like you have any slow movement going with yourself? Like, slow movement wise? Yeah, like, do you think anything's uh, going slow for you? I mean, like, just because where we at, it's a slow place, but if you stay in motion, man, you'll always be good. And that's how I look at it. I mean, motherfucker gotta have a positive lookout on life. If you don't, man, shit gonna be fucked up. But, and like, keeping it real. this is keeping it real, man. We keeping it real. Stay tuned. Peace. Yeah.